Hey guys, so I'm still alive. Now um, it's been a, uh, it's been a, uh, it's been a long time since I've uploaded a, a podcast episode, and um, not gonna lie to you, I'm a little ashamed, but I've been up to some pretty cool stuff. Um, I filmed a couple short films since the last one. Uh, I, I'm in a movie that comes out this weekend. It's called Tethered. The uh, world premiere is in Orlando. Um, contact me somehow and we'll uh, show you where to get some tickets and, and stuff. So there's that going on. Oh yeah, I also took uh, two weeks and went to Europe. I was in Ireland for a week and then London for a week. Uh, which was incredible. Definitely ask me to tell you about that if we meet in person. But that is, uh, that is not why we're here. We are here because I got a new episode. I have a new episode. I uh, haven't had a whole lot of time to uh, work on stuff because I've been, you know, traveling and things and uh, whatnots. But this episode is uh, my friend uh, Meg. Meg is a, a photographer from Meg Photography World. It's uh, Meg Fonseca. He's um, also one of my best friends in the 501st. Uh, you've probably seen his work online. He's just really, really cool dude. Um, but he's known uh, throughout the Legion as TI-9100. And Mig and I had a awesome talk, mainly about Star Wars. I'm not going to lie to you guys, it's about Star Wars. Um, but this was way back at Magic City. That's how long it's been since I've been to a con. Actually, I haven't been to a con since Magic City, now that I think about it. I missed MegaCon and I missed SuperCon because I was sick. So that's great. I'm excited for Tampa Bay, though. I will be at Tampa Bay Comic Con all three days. So if you listen to this and you're there, find me. Let's be best friends. But anyway, this episode is uh, my buddy Mig. He is uh, super awesome. He does most of my cosplay photos and whatnot. Uh, like I said, you've, you've seen his work. Mig's great. Um, but in this episode, we talk about Star Wars Weekends, which uh, is no longer with us, unfortunately. Uh, we talk about being in the 501st, uh, the famous Death March of 2011, which uh, you got to hear that story. His first troop, what it was like. Um, he's been to Lucasfilm. What? That's crazy. Um, he's he's basically friends with Steve Sansweet, which is also awesome. Um, and, uh, and a really cool story about um, Jeremy Bullock, who plays Boba Fett. Uh, so there's a bunch of that, bunch of that in this. Nice little fun episode. Um, Yutaka, I don't think you, uh, you listen to this podcast, but if you do, I am so sorry I mispronounced your name. Fun fact, uh, I record a lot of these podcasts at cons, because that's where a lot of my friends are, and... Um, we can schedule it out, and I just sit at their booths, because a lot of them have booths, and it's just more convenient for everybody to do it at cons. The problem is, I work every night. I, I, do, a, I do a newspaper out, as I'm sure you guys know, because I'm positive I repeat myself. Um, so a lot of times, I'll do my route, I'll get done at about 5 in the morning, I'll take maybe a two-hour nap, and then I'll drive to the con. Miami is about an hour and a half, two hours away with traffic, and Tampa is about two and a half hours. So a lot of times... When I record these, if I record them the one day I'm there or the first day I'm there, uh, I'm very, very tired. So much so that like I gotta take energy drinks and stuff to get home and sugar and it's a, it's an ordeal. So because of that, um, I'm a little all over the place. Sometimes I sound really tired, but I am genuinely interested. I just have a hard time coming back, uh, which I don't think you'll catch in this one. Now that I think about it, I don't know why I just brought that up, because now you're going to be listening for it. Huh. Well, anyway, um, Star Wars, this was before all the Rogue One news, so I'm excited to talk about that with some peeps. And uh, also, if you're listening to this and you have uh, somebody you'd like to have on as a guest, uh, just let me know, and I'll see about making that happen. I have some uh, pretty awesome guests lined up, but until then... This is The Interesting Podcast with Jedi Brian, episode 16, with TI-9100, a.k.a. Mig Fonseca from Mig Photography World. And now for that awesome theme song that I missed so much. Boop!
whatever. You're starting to record already? Yep. <laughs> okay. That's how I do it. Let's do it. I don't like to be super official because okay. everyone I talk to is like, all right, we're going to start. You ready? You Welcome mean- to the Interesting Podcast with Jenna Bryan. My guest here is uh, Meg from Make Photography World. People usually tense up and then they're not as like talky, you know, and I like just to talk about whatever. Whatever like it, it is, man, you, you you call the shots here. Yeah, I don't like informal. I like informal. It's informal? Better. That's, yeah, that's you good. you just kind of roll with unscripted. it. Unscripted. Absolutely. Not formal, unscripted. That's the best yeah. That's the best way you get results. Did you meet Mark Dodson yet? Uh, I did. He's so nice. Very nice. Very nice. I got a, a nice print signed by him and uh, did a photo as well. Nice. I've Where's never you? seen him at a con before. Me neither. So I don't know where, you know, or... or you He's know, got a great a, mustache. Great, He does have a oh, great mustache. Beautiful. <laughs> it's, beautiful. it's like Wilford Brimley, but better. <laughs> very, very, very cool. Very cool guy. Which print did you get? I got the black and white. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, salacious Crumb. Yeah. I figure it's one. got a classic look to yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. You know, He's got a Salacious Crumb on his table. That's He's cool. Got, yep, yep. I actually have the same one. Do you? You yeah, have a Salacious they, Crumb puppet? They sold those at <sighs> Star Wars Weekends. Uh, two years ago. What? It's that same exact one he's got. They sold that. They what? sold it at uh, Star Wars Weekends uh, in Orlando. I want one so bad. Yeah. I've seen. I've seen the little like Salacious Crumb Beanie Babies, mm-hmm. but they're like thirty dollars. I was like, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> no, these things were. I think. I don't think they were that expensive. They were like yeah? maybe twenty or twenty-five bucks, if I'm not mistaken. That's amazing. Yeah. Whenever the thirtieth year anniversary of Return of the Jedi, so it was in 2013. Teen. Yeah. Because yeah, it came out yeah, 83. A couple years ago, three wow. years ago already. So actually, that's a good that's a good place to start. I am so glad I made it to the last Star Wars weekends. Oh yeah! Oh my <laughs> God! I missed the first one. Remember, nobody told me about the boots. Yep, yep, yep. That was very, very uh, unfortunate. Unfortunate <laughs> that you had to go through that. It's just some. Everybody just you know when you're there. You just take it for granted that everybody knows what they're supposed to, right. including all the newbies and right. and and you know, we all felt terrible for you. Yeah. I felt terrible. I it felt happened. Horrible for you. But you know what? I learned. You came back. <laughs> I did. And you participated. I, and, I made it. <laughs> and, and you made it. You survived. I did. You didn't pass out like nope. some people have. Yeah. And uh, you just, uh, you know, we don't know if we're going to have another Star Wars weekend. I know. It's so depressing. It's, it's, it's sad. But I actually, I think I hold the record for the most Star Wars weekends. Marches. Yeah? Was it? I finished hit- at 102. Oh, my consecutive. God. Consecutive. I started in 2008. All the way through this past year, I counted 102 what? consecutive marches. Did not miss one. That is incredible. And that's there, just Star Wars weekends. That's the the actual parade, and wow. being there also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. being there also. And, and there's there's others that are um, not far behind me. I know. I actually know wow. a couple people that are a year behind. That they're probably they're about 12 marches behind me, consecutive what? as well. That's amazing. So they're like at 90. A uh, friend of mine, uh, Dennis. Yeah. Dennis Crompton uh, up in, he, up he in does Orlando. A, he has an X-Wing. He's got an right. X-Wing. He's got like, you know, 50 different Star Wars costumes. Right. He's, <laughs> he's, he's, he's out of control. Right. Um, he's got about 90 consecutive as well. Wow. Um, so we, we, you know, there's a few of us. You broke 100. I broke 100. That is and so I, I think cool. I'm the only one. Wow. Because I've been there. I see everybody. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, people that were there in 2008, 2009 are no longer, a lot of them are no longer even around. You're right. You're you know, right. They may not be in the Legion or they just might not do it as much. And then, of course, you got all the newer people that are, have been doing it the last several, but they don't have nearly close to what no. I have. So I don't think there's an official tracking where you can go look, but I have pictures. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> there's proof. <laughs> Throughout the years of stuff. But, but wow. yeah, so it's. It's fun. It's it's always a good time. It's hot and it's as you know it's uh, yeah. it's it's very challenging. But you know what? It's 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 something that that everybody that's in the legion should experience. It's like the trophy of troops. I, I, I always look at I, it as I like think so. top of the top. I think so. You it's know, so and, and, and I, I enjoy you know if I were first legion. I mean, I know you're you're I know you're fairly. Yeah. Fairly new. I mean, you're yeah. about a year, two yeah. years, maybe. I'm, I'm almost this. I think this July I'll be two years in the Rebel Legion. Yeah. And then like a year and a half with the 501st or yep. so, right yep. around. Yep, yep. Since that day we met at a Costco in Miami. That was my first troop. That was your first troop. I met you there. Yep. And then, ironically enough, you recognized me at Supercon. I did. You dressed up as something completely different, which has made you very famous. Yep. <laughs> uh, the Cabbage <laughs> Merchant. Uh, but yeah, no, that was our very first, uh, your very first troop. Yep. 
And uh, but what I was about to say was the uh, five hundred first is really I've been doing it since two thousand eight, and it's been very cool to meet so many people. Yeah. If it wasn't for the five hundred first, we wouldn't be sitting here together today. It's true. It's absolutely you know, true. I also have a lot of friends around the world because of the five hundred first. Right. In right. Germany, in Australia, and in, in Singapore, in England, and Mon- Canada, Monaco, uh, Monaco, yeah, Monaco, Monaco. Yeah, <laughs> Olivier. I have, a, I have a really <laughs> Olivia. Yeah, Olivia. you know Olivier. Yeah. Uh, guys in Italy, you know. Uh, so, so you know, there, there's so many people around the world that because of the Fowl First, you've got to meet, we've got to hang out at celebrations. Sure. Um, and I, I'm fortunate enough to say that I can make this one again, the one in so England lucky. In, uh, in July. That's the best part about going to celebration is seeing the people from all the, your Legion brothers and sisters from around the world. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and it's, 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 it's really cool. I think it's, it's really, really awesome to do that. And, and at Star Wars Weekends, you know, we had people come in from all, all yeah, over the world. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, I know we had a couple from Argentina that came down. Yep. You uh, had uh, Juan, that Juan that one girl from Germany. Yep, yep. You know? We had uh, um, uh, one person from Germany and, and Juan and Gabby from Argentina, who at yep. the time they were the CEO. She was the CEO of Argentina and uh, came down and... and you know, he, he tries to make as many as he could. You know, it's a little challenging for a lot of folks sure. overseas to gain. You know how expensive well, it is yeah. for us to go overseas. It's like double for them. Yeah, it's to even come more here, so, for sure. You know? So, so it's it's pretty cool. It's really, really, really cool to, to be in the Legion and to have all that throughout the years. And glad to be a part of it. Yeah. Really. So you you started in 08? 2008. What was your first costume? Tie pilot. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I went on the. Let's see. The way I got started, I've been going yeah. to Star Wars Weekends for years. You know, I think 2000, 2002 was my first one. Okay. And then I went, I think, in 2003, 2004. And then I started sticking around for the parades. Oh, uh, okay. And, and I was, you know, just by going to Star Wars Weekends, I got to meet people standing in line at 4 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> to Wait try progress. to get an autograph <laughs> and all that. So standing in line, I started meeting some of the, some of the uh, Legion members there. And then one day I decided, I'm like, you know, I'm going to bear the heat with all these people and, and, and wait for the parade. And when those guys came out, it was just, it blew my mind. You had and that that's moment. How, and that's how we get a lot of new members is they go to the Star Wars Weekends and they see, you know, they see Mickey come by and they see Donald come by. Right. And then you see, like, all these armored characters come out. You see, you see biker scouts, and which you don't get to meet a biker scout right. at Star Wars Weekends. You get to meet a Stormtrooper, a Vader, Chewbacca. You know, sure. the main guys, but you see Greedo. Right. You see, you know... Clones. Uh, you see clones and all these characters that you just don't get a chance to even get a photograph that you've never seen them in person. Right. Because you've never been to a con either. Sure. So, so, so you know, I'm, I'm like looking at these guys. I'm like, man, they look good. Yeah. They look awesome. They you look know? like and, the movie. And, and as a big, you know, that's the, that's the first time you see movie accurate in, in person characters right? it does something to you so so you're just like you know what i went like that year that summer and then we went to megacon and then met a couple of friends there at star wars weekends they actually invited us to come to the legion dinner oh sweet yeah so at megacon there's always a legion dinner yep it's a big deal big deal and then we come out and and it, ever since then i started talking to people and they're like yeah i can help you with the the code cylinders i can help you i know well, this you can get the belt from here you can get the you know, the jumpsuit, you know, from the guy in Singapore or, or, or Malaysia, wherever he's at. Sure. You know, and I'm like, I got all these deep. I, I, it's like I'm doing my homework, you know. I got right, these, yeah. You got to research. Interview, I was interviewing people, you know. Next thing you know, I'm like, I go on eBay, and somebody was selling a Thai pilot helmet and chest box. Oh, sweet. And you know, and you know the first rule of trying to be in a, mem- a membership in Legion, First Power First Legion is you don't go to eBay. Yeah, exactly. Because you you'll to, end up with rubies. You end up with stuff. <laughs> well, I ended. I got lucky, and really? I ended up with a with a Dom Post recast. What? Out of fiberglass, so it's what? a bigger size and heavy, heavy. <laughs> and you know, I showed it to the guys, and I, and they're like, "This will pass. It's in good shape, dude. The the chest box is in perfect shape. You got to go buy some hoses, and everything just fit right and." Next thing you know, I had my jumpsuit ordered from the from the dude in Malaysia. Yeah. And uh, I came in and bought the nice little Vader Halloween gloves because those were approvable too. Right, right. Because, um, you know, they're, 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 they were, the, they're the gauntlet the style. Gauntlets, yep. You know, you can buy the nice $100 ones from 
I don't know who right. these days, but but or you can buy the five dollar ones at at the Halloween store, which look just as good in pictures. Right, exactly. So to this day, I have yeah, <laughs> I have a few pair of those. It's awesome because I because I ended up buying uh, a pair, and then they, after Star Wars weekends the first year, they started to wear out and sure. get loose and all that. So I went back to the Halloween store and bought like everything I can get my hands right. on. <laughs> Stock so up. I ended up buying like I'm gonna say like six seven pairs. Until this day, I use those for my TIE Pilot and my X-Wing Oh, perfect. as well. <laughs> and it, it, like I said, it looks good. I've, I've gone through approval per, uh, process, and they were cool about it. And That's what matters. <laughs> I said, you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll take it. I'll do it. That's all, so, so TIE Pilot was your first one? TIE no Pilot idea. was my first one. Wow. Yeah. Where'd you go from there? And then I... Because you've got a couple. <laughs> I bet. Then, then I started to uh, get crazy. <laughs> and I met a few folks... In, in at Star Wars Weekends in 2008, and uh, my Biker Scout was the second one that I started. Sure. So I got the information of where to get the armor and and somebody doing all the soft parts and that boots and everything, and that started rolling. And then um, then I had access to the boards. Right. right? That's and the then, important part. And then what <laughs> happens when you get on the boards? I had the same sickness that you've got right it's now. It's a marketplace of fun stuff. It, it <laughs> is. It is. It is just you, you, you had to somehow put a limit on yourself <laughs> because you had, you know, I started getting crazy with the patches and the coins. Like, like, like me. What, like kind of <laughs> what, what you're doing. But back then, you know, it was, it was you know, a lot of folks were selling the, the point. The coins and patches wasn't a big deal back then. Sure. It happened. It was there, but it wasn't like crazy flooded like it is today yeah now there's but somebody thousands. posted up they were selling a snow trooper com- uh, kit uh already weathered and this dude those of you that know me um i'm a little bit heavy around the waist okay yeah. you know and um this guy that was selling it he had the same figure i did and i'm like you know what it looks good i asked him is it cracked or is there anything wrong he says nothing wrong with it i'm just moving on to get something different Sure. You know, a lot of people buy costumes and they wear them for six months, then they get rid of them. Sure, yeah. You know, I know a lot of people have done that. I have not. Right. I still have all my costumes, all my original stuff. I got everything. So anyway, this guy was selling a kit, you know, the whole the whole thing, the backpack, the armor, the shoes, the the, the, wow. the, the, the mucklets, yeah, yeah. as we call them, <laughs> uh, the pants, pants fit, the helmet, everything, 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 all weathered, ready to go. Dude. Only thing I didn't come with was a blaster. Really? So I had a snow trooper just like that. Wow. You know, that was costume number three. I actually got that done before the Biker Scout. Because the Biker Scout soft parts took forever. Right, right. So so that was like number three. And then it just went haywire from there, man. I just kept buying. <laughs> yeah, what else do I need? You know, know Jawas are cool. <laughs> yeah, then, then I started putting orders for like my Adat driver, my my uh, eventually my, my snow commander, which today is my favorite. Yeah, yeah, my that, favorite that one. That one looks great. Um, for various reasons, it's it's it, even though it only got about a <laughs> three second screen time, if even. <laughs> but it's just a cool, cool looking helmet. Everybody likes it. There's not many of us around. No. You know, so when I'm at Star Wars weekends in that parade, I'm always in the front. Yeah. Right. And you know, you not look that awesome. I have an ego or anything. No, but you look I, really cool. <laughs> but, but you know, when I'm leading, you know, every time I show up with my commander, they're like, "All right, commander, you're up in the front." You got your and snowtroopers all, behind and you. And all my, my my battalion behind me, ready to go. So all the pictures look cool. Right. Um, I'll buy, you know I'll post some of my you know Facebook and Instagram pages. I'll put all from time to time. I'll throw I'll throw pictures in there just to, yeah, yeah. Just, just you know as a as a as a reminder that you know I also do costuming and not just sure. photography. Absolutely. You know, so so it's something fun. It's something cool that I that I, I enjoy. Really. Do, do you think you'll do anything from the new movie? You know what? Uh, anything catch your eye? I, I I really like. Even though the uh, I would have loved to have seen. Can we do spoilers here? I guess yeah. by yeah. now. Yeah. It's been I, a month. I would, Come have on, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I would have loved to have seen uh, more of a Snowy's in yeah. action. <laughs> As opposed to the one shot we get of them behind Hux. <laughs> They're just standing there. <laughs> yep. Like, okay, we're, there, we're here available. We never were needed for anything. Right. Right type thing. But I saw the actual costume at Celebration in Anaheim. Oh, yeah. And it looks like the most complicated thing you've ever seen. I'm sure. Um, so the that's helmet something. itself is like... Tuscan visibility. It's just a. It's you know back in back in the episode four Empire those movies, you see the costumes were like just you know you wore a duster and you had armor on top and you were done. Right. Here you got all these vinyl uh, types of now the dusters are like vinyl. Yeah. Some type of something thick, thick going on. Great vinyl. The boots have all these attachments and 
it just looks very, very complicated. But you know what? With, with time, I definitely would want to do that because, you know, uh, the Snowies are my, my favorite. I was say, got to complete your Blizzard Force, man. The Snowy, you know, is the only battalion that that succeeded. Right? right? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you know, so, so I never thought about that. You're we're, right. We're, we're the coolest, uh, the coolest detachment in the Legion. <laughs> um, so, so that's and then the Tie Pilot. I love the new yeah Tie Pilot. They're cool looking. And there's a lot of uh, verbiage and a lot of uh, what, is, what I should say, a lot of discussions already. Yeah. About, about certain parts. I don't know if you're part of some I've, of the I've seen some uh, of the pages. That Jason's are, pulling for it pretty hard. Yes, yes. So, yep. so there's a couple of Facebook underground networks happening yeah, yeah. Uh, with that um, but uh, it's 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 a cool looking costume and I think that's one that I'm also at least those two I got my eye on yeah I dig yeah, it yeah I want to do uh, I want to do Poe Poe I, I love Poe oh, well, yeah of course I of love Poe I mean I'm one, you know I'm, I'm that's another thing is is you get a lot of people in the Legion that are just like Empire yeah they're Empire Empire you, the minute you start talking about you know Rebels, Rebels and Orange <laughs> They're right. like, I'll get out of here. Right. I'll talk to you. I said, you know what? I mean, I was no. like, I'll carry the lightsaber. Screw it. <laughs> we win. S- screw it. <laughs> screw it. You know what? I am, you know, going to do Absolutely. all of it. Absolutely. All of it. All of it. You know, it's just, uh, I've got an X-Wing. Yeah. You know, and it's cool so, looking. So and you're in the commercial. I'm in the commercial. That's At right. Disney World. I'm in the commercial. I'm in the promo. Yeah. Uh, from, that, from that very cool day of when they opened up uh, the new version of Star Tours. Um, I, I luckily... And that's funny that day because, cause, you know, we had uh, the Rebel Legion and then we had the Fowl First invited to come be a part of the opening festivities. Sure. Well, the funny thing is the Fowl First guys were all lined up behind the stage towards the back. Okay. So a lot of them did not come out in any pictures right. and any videos and nothing. The reason I decided to wear my uh, X-Wing was because, you know, at that time I've been in the Legion for a while. Sure. And I'm smart about it. <laughs> okay. You know. <laughs> the reason I, I decided to wear my X-Wing was because if they made us stand out there for hours and hours and hours, right. I'm going to be comfortable. Sure. No helmet, no nothing. Right. So I decided to wear my X-Wing. I said, whatever they do, they do. And sure enough, the Rebels were the only ones allowed to march down that main street. Of course. Come to the, and be a part of the opening promo. Follow the first wall in the back. <laughs> you know, so I made a good decision you did. when it came to that. Uh, it, it, it picture coming down. You've done the parade. So yeah, yeah. you picture coming down double the amount of people that you normally would have seen. Sure. There were people everywhere. And as you got to the main stage, there were there were bleachers built. What? There were bleachers built for the media. So I had all these millions, you know, millions of camera lenses focused on us. You know, and as we're walking up to the stage, you know, half of us were to turn right, half of us turn left. You're walking towards George Lucas. What? He's standing there on stage because he's opening up. Him, him and Bob what? Iger, the CEO uh, of, of Disney, Disney, they yeah. were both there. They were opening up everything. So they started the festivities with them up there. We're walking up, and here's George looking at us march up the parade. Oh, my and, God. You know, and it was quick. You know, we got right there, went around the stage, and that was the end of it. Sure. So, so the the, the Fowler first guys were all in the back. They got to see George walk off the stage and leave the area. So they still saw him. Sure. But they weren't a part of that whole opening thing. They were all. Right. A few of them were in front of the stage, but most of them were lining up the side over towards, uh, you know, in front of the theater and down towards uh, Indiana Jones and that area. Sure. They were like securing the area, basically, is what they right. did. Right. So, so that was a fun, you know, wow. a fun, a really, a really fun day. That led to the what we call the uh, uh, most tortures tortured parade ever. Was that the, we were, the that was the, the death fire march. watch? We called it the death march. That's what it was. Okay, we were tortured <laughs> to death, just about. You melted. Some people um, melted. Some people's some people's boots melted to the ground. So basically, what happened was the next day. Now that was the very first time that. Disney put up a stage in front of the uh, the theater, the Chinese theater. Right. In the old days, when the parade started, we all went down the street, down Main Street, past the Chinese theater, and then they would end up over by Star Tours. Okay. It was a little small stage, and that's where they did the grand opening every morning. Sure. Well, they decided to put this big stage in the middle, which you saw this year. They've had it there every right. year since. And they told us, they said, okay, well, this year we're doing things differently. You guys are going to come down the main street, and then you're going to line up in front of the stage and stay there 
until the entire festivities are over and oh. then the actors and everybody leave the stage then you guys can leave oh so this was one of the hottest days ever on record <laughs> yeah so, of course you know this you know star wars weekends is down in uh in uh, may and june you know 100 percent humidity yeah it's always 90 degrees always so we had a lot of folks that was the first year that we saw ewoks in our parade oh okay we had ewoks there we had uh uh, uh matt who did uh akbar what <laughs> late, you know you about latex yeah. masks yeah, yeah uh he did an akbar mask what? and um so we, we we start the parade and we all get you know we, we're do as we're told sure we line up in front and we're waiting oh and I, oh and i had my snow trooper oh of course yeah yeah <laughs> my snow trooper. so i'm wearing like this fleece outfit um, fully covered fe- fleece duster fully covered oh. helmet on the entire time dear god um but i survived survived <laughs> just so, barely so we're standing there for easily i'm gonna say 30 to 45 minutes just um standing there so we oh. stand there here come the actors here comes mickey here comes everybody they all get on stage they do they do a little promo hey wh- you know welcome to star wars weekends blah 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 blah, blah. Sure. it took about 40 minutes then we have to wait till they get out get up back in their cars because oh. they do that motorcade type thing yeah, yeah, yeah and then they get out and then we moved out oh. well we had we had a few people pass out. When we got what? to the back, I mean, we had so many people that were like dehydrated. And Matt with the uh, with the uh, the Akbar, I swear he he took his gloves off, and it's just a pool of sweat just rolling down. Oh um, man, he was so pale. I think all of the Ewoks all passed out in the back. Oh my um, god, I survived. I did good. I, I don't know how you I were did good. covered. I did good. I mean, I, I like I said, I was, you know. I'm trained for that. Yeah, right. You know, yeah, I'm, no, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a professional when it comes right. to Star Wars weekends. You know, I told you, 102. Right. Yeah. Um, but no, for whatever reason, I, I, you know, for those parades, I don't, I don't do the partying like a lot of the guys do. Oh, yeah. you know, they're all drinking the, yes, the party before. crew. <laughs> yeah, all that. Good, the good guys and and, uh, and the great parties and all that. But I don't drink. Right. I barely drink when I go to Star Wars weekends because right. you know you got to be, you got to be fully. <laughs> you got to be up in the morning. You know, in the morning, I, I, I don't drink coffee. You know, I drink uh, Gatorade all day long, and I, I have my protein. You know, I go to McDonald's, sure. get my, my sausage you know, sandwich. I get that in the morning, and I eat oatmeal bars, and that's what's got me. Yeah, yeah. You got you a know, system. You know, surviving. You sure. know, I've never... The only time I felt sick was the very first troop I ever did there. Really? What was your first troop? It was the first uh, in 2008. Really? And the first with my Thai pilot, because yeah. I didn't know what to expect, you know, and didn't, I didn't know anything, what was going to happen, and I actually got a little bit... I had a little bit of a headache after the troop. Yeah, well, I mean, fiberglass helmet. I mean, yeah. dude, that's a And then a lot the next day, I'm like, you know what? I don't know if I like this or not. I don't know if I'm going to survive. And then the next day, I just decided to, you know, drink more liquids and, and eat more protein. And then, sure enough, I was fine. I was all, you know, that first time. You've been there the first oh, yeah. time. Oh, yeah. When they open up those gates. It's... It's like you gotta like try not to cry. It's a moment. That, it's emotional. That, that it's very emotional. Yeah. You know they open up those gates and there's thousands and thousands of people just just looking at you and pointing cameras at you and cheering for you. And, and there's everything. kids where you're real. Yes. You know that's the big thing. Is yeah. like there's a kids like oh my god that's a real biker scout. Yep. Yep. Exactly. You know? So the, the the kids, you know, a lot of the kids, you know, you see the looks on their faces, you know, oh, yeah. and and a lot of them are waving at you, and of course you're. You're in character, so you can't wave at them. You got to act right. like you're, you know. Of <laughs> course, they tell you, "Well, oh, be in military, look straight up, forward." I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna be, <laughs> I'm gonna be looking to the side, looking at people. I'm just looking like I own the place. Right. <laughs> That's what I did every troop. Nobody told me anything. I just went up there and I just walked out like I knew, like I own the place. Right. You take you away know, my I'm, wave. You're here to see me. I'm still looking. Yeah, you paid to see me. That's kind of the attitude I had. Sure. And and you know what? If you look at the videos, you see me. I'm just walking. Right, you know? just doing your thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just you're, doing your thing. You know, your first troop was Star Wars Weekends. No, 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 it was not my first troop. It was my okay. first uh, Star Wars Weekends. Oh, okay. Where the only time I got I got a little bit sick. All oh, right, was, was your the very first, first Star Wars March gotcha. back in two thousand eight. Ever since then, I've been I've been fine. What was I've your been, first troop? First troop, the first official troop was the Palms West Hospital. Yeah. In West Palm. That's awesome. Yeah, that was the fir- very first one. Uh, it was uh, very quick. I don't know if you've done hospital. Yeah, I've done one. Hospital troops are the very qu- <laughs> the, the quickest troops 
uh, you'll ever do. Yeah, they because have a list of rooms that you visit, and yeah. it's quick, hi, see you later. It takes longer to dress up and get there and get set up than it is to actually troop it. Yes. You know, and, and I wore my Thai pilot. I was trying to get approved to, for Star Wars yeah. weekend, you know. You <laughs> got to get, get your troop in. You got to get your troops in. <laughs> so I go to this, I go to the, uh, you know, to, to this, and it's the first time. Never done a hospital or anything. And I, I held myself pretty good. Yeah. You know, a lot of people I know, they, they that I know that goal, they say they have to wear a helmet because they teary-eyed and everything. Sure. But you know what? The, that day, you know, the kids looked good. Um, they were they were little kids. They were they were bigger. You know, they were almost teenagers in there. Sure. Um, we had some that really liked us, and and then we had some that were scared. And, yeah. <laughs> and but it was real. It was a real special troop because it was my first one, and then it was sure. a hospital. And, and like I guess that we were there probably twenty minutes. Right. We went to like five six rooms. Hello. We brought toys. Okay. Um, we brought toys. Uh, the guys that had cards uh, brought cards, and and and, we had then, activity and, then, books. and then we just uh, left. After yeah. That, we just left, and and that was my very first one. It was really cool. That's pretty neat. Yeah. You were at my first one. Yep. <laughs> my yep. first was called, I was a Rebel Legion member for yep. almost a year and no troops, because obviously I I didn't have any five hundred first friends. I wasn't on the boards. I was only yeah. on the Rebel Legion boards, yeah. which no one ever posts in. Right. 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 It was John who cross posted an event onto the Rebel Legion boards. Yeah. And yeah. that's how I found it. Yep, yep. And I was like, yeah. it's a troop. It's a troop. <laughs> I don't yeah. care if it's two hours away. I'm going. Man, you got to start your own squad over there in I'm the working on southwest uh, I'm working on it. sector of Florida. We've got, we've, I've got myself, my friend David, this couple, Justin and Jennifer, this four Jedi within 10 minutes of each other. Good. Johan is, uh, he's got an incinerator stormtrooper. He's 501st. Yep. He just finished a biker clone. Very cool. So he's going to get that. So that's. That's like six people. Very cool. All Very cool. and Johan is in Naples. David's in like Benita. So it's all nice within you're, an you're, hour. You almost you almost got your own squad. Man. I'm working on it. You almost got <laughs> yeah. I mean I mean there's I know that there we have so many squads in Florida. Yeah, we got you what, know, five and, six. But you guys live so far from everything from from <laughs> everything from you know you're 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 hour and a half from Miami or an hour and a half from Tampa. Yep. You know sometimes you're like you know what I like to troop but I can't drive three hours just to troop for. Uh, Right, you know, so it's understandable, and, and when, you guys should be able to, at some point, when you have enough activity and enough people, have your own squad. I'm hoping, you I'm know, hoping. get our own patches. Get, yeah, <laughs> that's, that, that's the real listen, reason. Listen, that would be your only incentive to do it, right? I know, yeah. <laughs> We're talking, yeah, it'd be the uh, the Everglades Temple or yeah. something. Like <laughs> We're talking about uh, my buddy David. He's one of my best friends. He um, he has a Jedi that just got approved, like maybe a month or two ago. Mm-hmm. And he is going to make an airborne clone. Oh, nice. And he's going to have the purple markings, like Mace Windu's battalion. Yeah, yeah, it looks yeah. looks really cool. Very so cool. He just got the helmet. Yeah. So he's going to start working on that. I'm working yep. on my clone. Oh, nice. So we talked about having like a coin with both of us back to back as Jedi and on the other side our clones. Oh, nice. That'd be pretty cool. That, yeah. Right? Hey. People would want it. I want it. Olivier be, be, would. Be, Olivier, <laughs> Olivier in Olivier Monaco wants is, is every patch. <laughs> he is. He is. Uh, I tell you, he's he's a he's a really good guy. I um. I haven't met him yet, but he seems great. I, I, you know, we were talking about people around the world earlier, and and you know, some of the people around the world are, are real special people. And I'll tell you a story, a quick story. Yeah. Um, uh, Celebration Europe. Um, you know, I from time to time I get to go to troops and. And conventions out of Florida, you sure, know, from time sure. to time. You, you know, know, eventually. Uh, it's, it's, it's just my, my hobby. It's just something I love to do. But anyway, um, Celebration Europe uh, went out there, and it happened to be the very first night, the day before the first day. It was the third. The, the, the celebrations in Europe, for whatever reason, they're only Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay. Like here, they're Thursday. Thursday, they start Thursday. Yeah. Over there, they're Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And that was in Germany. It was in Germany. Yeah. It was a little town called Essen, which was right by uh, Dusseldorf. Okay. Uh, uh, big city, Dusseldorf. And we showed up there on Thursday afternoon. We were I was out there on a two week oh, tour cool. with, with a group of group of people and we ended up we, we finished in Essen at celebration. But anyway, we got there on Thursday. Thursday was my my birthday. Oh nice. Yeah, it was my birthday on that Thursday. And and um, a couple of the guys somehow I guess through Facebook or whatever saw that it was my birthday, you know, and and I had a few gifts from them. You know, uh, Olivier, uh, he came and he gave me a big giant bag full of stickers from just every detachment and what? and squad and, and, you know, every, everything you could, anywhere you can think of, garrison, 
because he knew I collected the stickers because I like to put them on my bin. Right, right. And I've always told him, I said, hey, when we do stuff here, I'll send you some. And if you can get me some from wherever you can get them. And then he shows up to celebration. He's like, my friend, you know, he's, you know, he speaks French. Yeah. You know, my friend, uh, 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 very happy birthday. Here's a gift for you. Uh, and it's big fat envelope with a couple hundred stickers just That's all, amazing. From all over the place and I'm like oh this is awesome thank you you know yeah, yeah. and then I had uh, I had uh, a couple of guys Patrick from Switzerland uh, he gave me a, a nice Christmas card uh, not Christmas birthday card yeah. uh, with a Swiss patch in it you know they what? had done a Swiss patch for yeah. a celebration he gave me one of those and, and my friend Julia who was a PR person for German Garrison oh cool um, she had a little package for me too so people are very nice you know yeah. they're very very you know very giving and, and like I said it says the follow first brings out the best in a lot of people so I agree so, you know, you'll see that, you know, hopefully when Celebration comes back, it should come back here to Orlando. Oh, where we're all anticipating, so you know. I ho- I'm, I'm putting get money to aside for when they go on sale. Yes. Be like, imme- Buy done. it right away. Because, you know, they sell out in an hour of the Jedi Master tickets. Yeah. And then the yeah. Jedi Knights one maybe lasts five minutes longer than that. Those are those are hard. Those are oh. hard to get nowadays because everybody just buys them and. It's Please. just worth every. It's worth every penny. Uh, so you know? I wouldn't I mean, if you got the money. Six. If you got the money to, to really to, to if you could afford it, it's really worth every penny. Absolutely, absolutely. Because um, you get so many different perks that that are just very helpful. Especially in the Legion. I mean, yeah. There's a whole second half of that convention that's like Legion stuff. Like yeah. The yeah. giant. I've heard stories of the Celebration Six patch trade. Of oh. the whole Legion. Seth Green showed up. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I actually have a picture of me and. Uh, I gave him my personal patch. What? And there's a picture of him holding my patch and me and him at Celebration. Uh, I think it was six. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah, he just showed up to the patch trade and, and people were throwing. It was funny. <laughs> people were throwing stuff at him. He says, Seth, quick, take mine. And he collects it. He collects that stuff. Yeah. You know, he, he loves having that the Legion stuff. He's an honorary member. and. Yep. and Seems like and a really cool dude. He's so down to earth. Come, he was out there hanging out with us and... He made sure everybody got a photo and 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 That's just so just, cool. just really really a nice guy. Have you met George Lucas? I have never met George Lucas. But you've seen him more than I've once. I've seen him about three times. Oh <laughs> my god! I've seen him once. It was at the Star Wars Detours panel at Celebration Six. Yep. Where he came out and surprised everybody. Oh, really? Because nobody knew he was going to be there. Yep. And Seth Green is just talking about this thing, and then he just walks out. No introduction, just walks out. Wow. Oh, my God. I didn't even know he was there. Defining moment of my life. Yeah. Because, you know, he's got the look, the flannel, the jeans. He's got a look. Just kind of hanging out. But the second he walked out, it was just like, (gasps) it's like a kid seeing Santa for the the first time. The air left in the whole building. And it just, the walls shook. It was incredible. (laughs) I was like, oh yeah, no, I, was like he, I was in the same room as George he, Lucas. He was there, and and he, I had the, I, had, I got lucky, and I had the VIP package, and I and I was able to sit through the opening, oh. you know, uh, with him, and I believe it was John Stewart was the host. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. And I, w- I sat through that one, and like I said, I saw him at Star Tours opening. That was it. I, I probably actually twice I should say yeah. I have not never never had a chance to even ask him for a photo or an autograph. Can you imagine? Just never, uh, never had a chance to do any of that. So, so I've been lucky to to visit Lucasfilm. Yeah, you've been to Lucasfilm. Um, I've been there several, several, several times actually. And uh, I need to give you money so you can buy me a hat. I, 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 I will, I will definitely do that for you next time if I ever get a chance to go back. Yep. Um, but um, one, you know, I went the first year that. It wasn't owned by Disney. Okay. The first year I went, it wasn't owned by Disney. And I told, uh, you know, you, you got to be a guest. Of course. Of somebody to get in there. Yeah. You can't just walk in the building. And you've got obviously. quite a friend, I so would I say. Had, I, had, uh, I have a, a couple of friends that, that know people that know people that know people that know people yep. that uh, were able to get us in and give us a small tour of the wow. facility. Um, and I told them, I said, listen, if George is there, I am going to ask him for a photo. And if it's the very last time I get in the building, it's worth it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Dude, absolutely. Yeah. We never saw him. <laughs> um, but we saw Dave Filoni. Oh, in sweet. The, uh, what they call the commons. Okay. Is their uh, their little cafeteria. Sure. That, you know, it just overlooks the, the bay and sure. overlooks the Golden Gate Bridge. You can see Alcatraz in the back. You know, it's just a right. you know, nice just little cool, scenic cool area. Gourmet stuff. I mean, it's just a, a place where... 
you know, you just it's relaxing. You know, you go go out there and eat and stuff like that. But um, we saw uh, Felonia and they're having lunch. And you know, of course, we're all trying to be professional, right, not right. fanboys. <laughs> and he came by, and then we just said, "Hey, Dave, how's it going?" He's like, "Hey, good guys, how's it going?" The way to get David, uh, Dave Filoni engaged in a conversation is to talk hockey. I was just about to say, bring up the Penguins. Talk <laughs> hockey, and you will get him there to sit there for an hour and talk to you. Yeah, because <laughs> that's his passion. He loves. He's a big Penguins yeah. fan. So, so we 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 you know it was winter time, so it was we usually go in December. Sure. Early December is the chance that I, we all get to go, and you know we just started talking hockey, and he sat there and talked hockey with us, and it was just a just a great time. That's and then, so of course, cool. there's the, you know, we get some, we get to see some areas like the ILM offices. Right, and right. Of course, you can't see the shops or anything like that. Of course. Because a lot of it is under, under you know, lock and key. You can't go in there <laughs> to see anything. snipers and all that. So the only <laughs> thing, you know, and then there's the, the very infamous store that you get all this Lucasfilm. Yep. Skywalker Ranch, uh, Skywalker oh. Sound memorabilia or, or logo shirts and hats that, that you just can't buy anywhere. It's just cool stuff. If you're a Star Wars fan, it's something you really want to have. It's the mecca. Yeah. It's that vault. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's that they have a really cool. The last time I went this past December, uh, they started selling little small Yoda fount- uh, Yoda statues. Like based off the fountain? Based off the fountain. Oh, that's so cool. So they had them up there on the shelf. I'm looking at it. The price was a little steep. It was about $400. Right. And I'm like, you know what? I can build my own little Yoda fountain at home. Right, yeah. So I'm like... I'm buying this thing, dude. You know, it's, I, a, it's a lot. Of, it's a lot of money, but you but know it's what? the memory attached to it's it. It's just so cool, you know. So I'm gonna go to Michael's or one of them places, see wh- wherever they sell fountains, yeah. and I'm gonna make my own, dude. I'm gonna make a little fountain. That would be awesome. Yeah, yeah. So, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna work on that. I'm gonna hey, work on that's that. A see, good, it, that's a cool project. That, to have. It is a very cool project. So, so I can have the uh, the very first Yoda fountain on the East Coast. Right. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> People come to your house. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there it there's is. There's only a couple of them throughout the. Yeah. You know, there's the one at Lucasfilm. There's a Yoda statue over at the, um, oh God, what is it called? Over in the small small little town where Yoda was, I mean, um, where Star Wars was created, where George lives in San Rafael, California. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, right, right by, just north of San Francisco, there's a fountain, there's a Yoda fountain, and then there's a, there's a um, Indiana Jones statue as well. What? And the, that, that little town, that's where George lives. Sure. I think, I, I, he might still have a home there. I don't know. Um, but that's where he lived, and he. Um, that's where they. There's a. There's a little plate plaque there. It says the, the birthplace of Star Wars. That's so you cool. You know. So that's the second one, and then there's. I think there's a couple. I think Disney might have one now, or right. there's a few of those fountains, but they're all on the West Coast. So I'm like, ah, you know what? I could be the first on the East Coast. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Charge people. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Have Steve Sansweet come to your house. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Speaking I think of, Steve, Steve's got one. Steve's got one too. I think he's got a statue. Speaking of, mm-hmm. how did you become friends? With Steve Sansweet. Steve Sansweet is like the fanboy collector of the world. Patches. Trading really? patches. No way. Trading patches, yeah. Over at the, he, he, he would come over to, um, I think I first officially met him at Dragon Con. Okay. You know, back in, back in the, not so much these days, unfortunately, but back in the older days, patch trading was a big deal at Dragon Con. Sure. You know, everybody looked forward to it. You had like tables and tables and tables of people just trading. And at the time when Steve was with Lucasfilm, he would show, he would go to, you know, he'd have a little panel or something at Dragon Con. And he came to the patch trade. And what? Steve would be one of those that he'll walk around the tables and he'd be like, I like this, I like this, I like this. And you didn't say nothing to him. Right. <laughs> he just took it. You know, you're like, oh. Yeah, man. All right. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. That works. Steve, yeah. Rich Obi Wan. So, so <laughs> that's you know, uh, at the time, uh, you know, it was like you know what, no big deal, Steve. It's it's it's, we love for you to have it, you know. It's right. Just, just, and Steve has taken care of us. Sure. You know, uh, he he always you know he showed up the next year, he brought patches for everybody and gave everybody patches. You know, just Ranch Obi Wan. He didn't have Ranch Obi Wan back 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 then, but he okay. had like Skywalker fire patches oh right right he gave those to out to everybody at celebrations uh five uh i remember we had a little small patch trade with him he brought his whole box full of extras what put it on the table and then we all got around we had a little private thing yeah yeah. hotel and he just said if 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 it's that box it's a double and if 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 you think i don't have it then that's trade 
Steve doesn't have time to look at right. every single <laughs> patch to see if he's got, you know, like you and I do on the database. Yeah, yeah we're that. like, I have a list here. This is what I because need. Because if you get something new that you think I don't have, let's take, I'll, we'll trade. doesn't matter what it is. Wow. So he brought patches and he just, he gifted us a bunch of patches. He said, no, just, this is just a gift. Just a, just a really good, good guy. Um, if you all get a chance to visit Ranch Obi Wan, he's got a museum. It's a very, very special place. It's on my bucket list. It's got a, there's just so much history. Um, it's not about just collecting toys and stuff, but he's got some of the one of a kind items right. in there. Um, I'll give you an example. You know, he's got part of Qui Gon Jinn's robe oh, after the my god after the uh, ceremonial. Um, we know how they burn them. Yeah, are you well, serious? He, I'll let you. I'll let him tell the story how he got it. Oh my! Because I don't want to get him in trouble. Um, <laughs> but um, he's got some of that there. He's got that in a nice case. He's what? got, um, you know, just just little little. Uh, he's got one of uh, Darth Vader's undersuits. Yeah. Uh, from, I think it was Empire. What? Um, the pants or something. Part yeah. Of. He's got that there. He's got one of the very first uh, banner prints. What? That was used at uh, San Diego Comic Con, I believe, back in like 79, 78. Wow. Um, with the old Star Wars logo. Yeah. Done by, I think, Ralph McQuarrie did it. Yeah. Um, he's got stuff like that. He's got all, you know, and... and Steve Steve has a lot of unique fan made items too that are very that are very cool. Okay. Um, you know he he'll he'll go around to cons or conventions and and fans will just you know he'll see something like a something unique like a like a bantha pinata. Sure. You know or something like that. He'll look at it. He'll say, hey, that's cool. Whatever. You know he'll he'll end up coming home with it. Right. Yeah. yeah. You know um, he's got the part of the float from the Rose Bowl. Oh yeah. Uh, when back in two thousand, gosh, what is it? Was it seven or eight? Yeah. I think it was seven. Yeah. When the Fowl first was invited to march in the Rose Bowl. Yeah. This was the year before I joined. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, like if only. <laughs> George George was the Grand Marshal. Yes, of I the remember parade. Remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they built this nice float, kind of like what they did this year. Did you see this year's uh, parade? Yeah. Uh, the, the, the Rose Bowl where they built the uh, the big X uh, Falcon. No. Yeah. What? You got to look at it on YouTube. It's what? really cool. Um so they built this big float, and with you know, and and part of it, he's uh, sitting in the museum. That's um, awesome. So it's really, really cool. Really, really, he's got a lot of lot of cool stuff. You know, you pay the, you know, he asked for a membership uh, so you can you know support the, keep the museum going for generations yeah, yeah. and generations to come. And you can become part of the club. You like know, the, it's just yeah, you know, yeah. just just really cool. And 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 he does galas and and events every year. Sure. Um, he's doing a gala this year in November that I am looking to go to. Cool. Um, I have never made any of the galas because I just it's just uh, scheduling. It's just tough to, you know, he's in San Francisco. It's up yeah. in Petaluma, which is north of San Francisco. It's just tough to get to. It is on a quick weekend trip. <laughs> I, I took a, the longest flight I ever went on was Miami to San Francisco straight. Yeah. It's like six and a half hours. It's just it's just tough, you know. And then, um, so this year I've set aside time. Cool. Uh, to go to the gala and support that and yeah. and, and be a part of the festivities for that and, and you know just help them support for support the museum. It's just a just a cool, it's a one of a kind place yeah. that, I, that I just recommend everybody at least once. And he gives a tour. Oh, cool! And and it's just really it's a, it's a long tour. Yeah, that's I mean, good. It's, it's like three to four hours. What of nonstop, just visiting parts of the museum and he's. He's given this tour every twice a day sometimes. Wow. Yeah. So it's really it's really cool to get his perspective of it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, From well. the collector. You yeah. Know. And then if you're a collector, you're just salivating the entire yeah, right. time you're there. <laughs> I mean, there's the uh, the, the famous Jawa. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. With the vinyl cape. The, I think that's the in there. super expensive one that's yeah. like worth a ton of money. Yeah, out. I think that's in there and in a nice case, you know. And so it's a really, it's a really, you know, he's got a little 501st section. Yeah, yeah. As well, people have don't you know some of the legions have donated stuff to him, um, uh, for him to to display there. But it's it's just a just a cool place. I'm still internally screaming that he has a piece of Qui Gon in there. Yep. Oh my god. Yep, yep, yep. I'd have to uh, pull it up on my phone and uh, you show it me. to you. I got a picture of it. I'm like the Qui Gon fanboy. I know. Fan I know. Boy. That's why I said that. Oh my I knew. <laughs> god, dude! I would just start crying <laughs> if he's like, and here we got a piece of Qui Gon's robe. I would just start crying. I'd yeah. Be like, 
Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah, it's just it's just funny the story too. Like I said, I don't want to get him in trouble. Oh no! Uh, I'll, I'll I don't, think, I don't think he was supposed to go. do that. It's you know? on my bucket list to go. So you for have sure. to go. And maybe one of these years when I go out there, I'll tell you. I said, hey man, we're going out there. Dude, to go. Let me know. I would yeah. love to. We always, you know, we, so we, cool. we are always recruiting people yeah, yeah. to come with us because it's we we do we do the routine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we go out there. We 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 visit Lucasfilm. Uh, and then the next day we go to we go to the Rancho Obi one. Yeah. And then we'll do the in between stuff. We'll go to Pier Thirty Nine. We'll go to Alcatraz. Sure. We've already done the Alcatraz thing. This year we did one of the, there was a, a, a submarine there. Oh, sweet. They had some submarine exhibit. I've never been in a submarine. I have. And I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna do this tour. Yeah. So we, why uh, not? Half of us went in there and checked it out. It was really cool. That's awesome. Um, so did that, you know, go to Giardelli's and, you know, yeah, indulge in ice cream and, 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 you know, just eat. And yeah. The guys that like clam chowder, they could go to Fisherman's Wharf and eat that stuff. Of course, I don't like it. Right. So I stayed clearly away from that place because <laughs> it's disgusting, in my opinion. <laughs> um, you just got to look out for the bush, man. I just, um, <laughs> I, 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 I spent time at Jack in the Box across the street. I love Jack in the Box. Uh, that's where I oh went to God. eat while all the other guys were having clam chowder. Over on Fisherman's Wharf, which I later found out that it was terrible. Oh, nice! So there you go. Hope you guys don't get sick. And nobody right. did, thank goodness. But <laughs> it was—it's just I don't. I'm I'm not a seafood guy, so yeah, I'm always gonna talk seafood down. I, I love seafood, but I'm not a clam chowder guy. No. I don't really like scallops. It's gross. What? It's gross. What is your best uh, story with a Star Wars celebrity encounter? Like a very memorable moment you've had. Um. I, I have been a huge fan of, of well I like everybody you know, yeah, I like yeah all of the, course I like all the characters and all the um, all the celebrities of you course the celebrities yeah, yeah. Celebrities? like okay. it, like being Julius Lafleur you know it was like skiff guard number two yeah. he's still awesome and yeah. we're crazy about him yep 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 that's what a fanboy is <laughs> um, we at Celebration Six um, Jeremy Bullock uh, probably one of the nicest classiest people yeah. you'll ever meet in your life who was Boba Fett who was Boba Fett. And uh, he also was, uh, uh, Captain, I, I don't um, remember his name, Captain Colton in episode three. Yes. But he also was the, the officer that was, care, that was holding on to, to Princess Leia in the Bespin scene uh, when they were trying to get away. Remember the officer? Yes. I, I, he had a name there too, but You're I can't right. remember what his name was. You're right. So, so, so anyway, so, so Jeremy Bullock, you know, we've, we've, uh, I've gotten to know over the years. Right. Um, and at Celebration 5, no, I'm sorry, Celebration 6, um, one of our friends uh, was able to, to uh, set him up with, with accommodations because Jeremy likes to come a couple days early. Sure. So he helped him with the accommodations and everything, took care of that. And we ended up going to dinner uh, with Jeremy. Oh. And Maureen, his wife. and, and Who's super nice. She's great. Super, super nice, great people. So... A uh, friend of mine, I don't know if you met him, Maurice uh, DeMeyer. Mo. Uh, I know the name, he's, but I don't know if I've met him. He's from down here, and um, we were both we, we both roomed at Celebration 6, and I told him, we, were knew, we knew about this dinner that was going to happen. Right. And I told him, I said, listen, uh, Mo, uh, why don't you get your wife, Lori, to, to make some uh, cookies and biscuits and, and, yeah. and cupcakes and whatever, brownies yeah, yeah. and... Just go all out. Tea time. Just, just, just yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Proper just, tea just, time. Just, just go all out. Whatever you can get, just have it done. This was on Tuesday. We had friends coming in, driving up, and they drove the stuff to us. Okay. Now, we we, we, we ended up getting a suite at okay. Celebration 5 nice. and 6. Live it, it was, up. It was basically two bedrooms with a, a living room in the middle. Okay. So we extended the invitation to Jeremy. After, after dinner, we said, Jeremy, we'd like to invite you to, for a dessert party. We're going to have ah. coffee, dessert, tea, whatever you want. And we had it all set up. And we're like, if he doesn't show up, then we have a, an a, a your own little party thing. Yeah. Party, we'll invite everybody else. But we had it limited to a few people because we didn't want to be crowded in yeah. there. So we told he told us, you know what? You know, just give me a little bit. Let me get back to the room and, 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 and you know, we'll stop by. Marina sure. and I will stop by. So we're like, he ain't going to stop by. He's going <laughs> to yeah. be too tired. He's, you know what? Uh, the, not 10 minutes, but, you know, when we got back, the, nor the door was, you know, somebody was knocking at the door, and we opened it up, and it was it was him. It was him and Maureen, so they both came in wow. and sat down, and, and we had the place decorated. Yeah. You know, and 
you know, it was just it was just a great, great, great time. We had, um, like I said, we had cookies and and, and, and cupcakes and everything. Um, at the time, we were all doing the running of the Will Row Hood. Oh yes, the running of the hood. So we had two of those ice cream makers filled with <laughs> ice with beer in it. Oh, that's we amazing. Using, we were using them as beer <laughs> as coolers. coolers. <laughs> um, but Jeremy's a wine guy. Okay. He likes he likes wine, so we had wine, we had all kinds of stuff. But but you know it was dessert, so yeah, yeah. So this was after dinner, and he already had his wine. And then he's like, "Do you mind if I bring a friend?" You know, and I said, eh, "Bring whoever you like." You know, <laughs> your Boba Fett. So he, whatever so he you brought, want. He brought Dickie Beer, the other Boba Fett. The other <laughs> Boba Fett. You know, what? came over to 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 the party, and we're like, "Well, that's pretty cool." You yeah, know, well, I mean, so so we had pictures. So. It was we had pic- it was a, it wasn't Dickie Beer. I'm sorry, it was Robert Watts. Okay. Robert Watts, he was the one that came. Because they were both at the show, too. Right, right, right. Um, so they came, he came to the party, and, and they were there for a good hour just talking and having a good time. And and just, you know, we weren't talking Star Wars. We were just talking about life. And, yeah, yeah, And, you know, and how do you like Florida, and how do you like the weather, and, and sure. traveling. And just, it was just a phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal. That's one of my better moments. Yeah. Uh, with Whoa. a... Tea time with Boba Fett's pretty awesome. With a, with a Star Wars <laughs> celebrity. We've And, and like I said, I've, I've had a chance to... To see them over the years and and have dinner with them and and it's just been a good time. I already I spoke to Maureen, uh, his wife. Uh, they're coming to Florida SuperCon, I, I believe, next year. Oh, sweet! This year, um, invite so, me to the tea party, so Meg. Th- there might be <laughs> there might be some type of event happening down in Miami that Call I have me. that I have to host. D- so let me co-host. <laughs> all right, all right. I'll definitely you you're, you'll be on the VIP Link list. Link me up, Meg, please. <laughs> you'll be on the VIP list, uh, definitely for that one. So so I, I always told all of my friends that like you're the best friend to have in the Legion because everybody knows you. <laughs> like from all over the world. <laughs> you know what I I attribute that to the patches. Yeah? You it, know. it is a great like do you know um Yukata? He's a guy in Japan, Yukata. See, the new guys I don't know because I, I quit collecting. It just got too oh, crazy. Right. I made so, a lot of friends from patch trading because of that. Like, there you go. Dude in Japan, Olivier. Olivier. Uh, Sebastian. Yeah, so, yeah and, the Mulder. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Um, Italy. Yeah. All kinds of people. There's, there's, you know, there's, there's a handful of the old guys left. Yeah. You know, the older the older guys that, that were hardcore collectors. But it just gets to a point where, number one, there's too many. Number two, there are some that are just you can't get. Yeah. And if you're a collector like I'm a collector, I gotta have everything. Right. <laughs> you know, so if I the minute I can't have, I, I don't have a shot at anything because, you know, I'm sorry, I, we only made three patches and therefore our command staff, right. squad leader XO and merchandise guy. That makes That's sense. That's it. Three patches. So how do you, you know, how do you expect to collect anything when you can't get it? So it's true. So I just and and then and then you know the other the other part of that is the the postage. Yes. You know now if you wanna you wanna ship something to to. To Japan or something like that, or especially Germany and places like that, you're gonna spend ten dollars every yeah. time you send up an envelope it's true. or a package. It's true. You know, and then you got to worry about getting lost, and it, yeah, it just became get a hassle. Yeah, gotta get insured and all that. It junk. became a hassle, and I just said, you know what? I found a buyer, and I sold all my patches, and I have a handful left. Yeah. Of my just Everglades, Florida Garrison. Sure. And this past year, I just collected all the Anaheim Celebration patches. Oh, cool. Only cool. for the sole purpose of making a display. Yeah, of course. You know, to bring to a con or something. Right. You know, because I have the Florida Garrison display. I don't know if you saw that one. I've seen pictures. Florida yeah, yeah. Garrison. Uh, Maurice has the Everglades one. I have an Ever- I have all the Everglades patch with the exception of one. Yeah. But I have them all. And I just got to put them in the display. And then I wanted to do that Anaheim one just to show just the variation. Yeah, it's just a cool thing to have. Just for, just for the, you know, not to trade or anything, just to put yeah, it up on a, display. at a table. And they look good. It gets people's attention. For sure. Um, and then there's the coins. Coins. Which That's a different I've, ball game. I've got, you know, I got. <laughs> You're like, I, I sold I got, my patches, but my coins. I still have the coins. <laughs> and, I, and I love the coins. Um, the, I, I, with that, too, I've just slowed down because yeah. you just can't. The, the trouble with the coins is you run into situations where there's coins made that you don't even know they exist. Yeah, it's true. It's true. You know, after time, after time, you're like, oh, the squad made well, how many? Right. Oh, yeah. yeah. The, don't forget the uh, honorary member ones. We right? only give those to actors. I'm like, oh, okay, well, then there's <laughs> another one I'll never get. You right. know, so, so, you know, if you had a chance to get everything, you know, like me, I like to collect everything. Yeah, I don't, like to, being I don't like to have holes in my collect. Yeah, exactly. I hear you. I'm right like there with you. Like, you want to do all the temple patches. Yes, and I've hit a speed bump because they haven't made patches of certain yeah, ones. They haven't? No, like, yeah. there's like eight or nine, I, I mean, at least probably more, 
I'll say 15. Let's say 15 Jedi temples that have a logo. They never did a patch run. Yeah. So I was like, but somebody do a patch run so I can have the patch. Because they don't. <laughs> because the people in that temple are not collectors. They don't care. It's true. You know, the minute you get one person that that likes patches, then it'll happen. Yeah. They you need know? to switch them out. Why do you think we have so many coins and so many patches? Wait. It's we had, true. We had five patches. Yeah. It's you true. know, this last run. Because we have patch guys in our group. Right. You know. <laughs> Especially but, um, uh, Paul. Yeah. Paul's huge into merch. Yeah, yeah. He's a day Jawa Vu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His yeah. Stuff, he, I got his Rakura one. It's yeah. the, the bird from yep. Rebels. But oh, the new now. one. Yeah, yeah. And then he's doing a coin run now of it. Yep. Which is pretty cool. Absolutely. So it's just, you know, it's just crazy. It is. Crazy, crazy with the merchandise. And, and it, it gets expensive. And you got to just slow down. It does down. get expensive, especially because you have to buy more than one. <laughs> right, right. Because you got to trade. Because then you got to trade. Then you got to trade. And, and then you got to, you know, mail it to... So, yeah. so it's just it's just pretty crazy. Then you got to find someone who's willing to trade. Yeah, that's exactly. the other thing. They might have what you need, but they don't want anything that you yeah. have. So you're like, <gasps> the I best stare trades, at it. the best trades happen at celebration. Yeah, that's what I've, so I've heard. It's next stock level. Stock up. <laughs> my, my advice to you. Have you seen my trades? I've got a lot now. I know, I know. Just stock up. Just stock right. up. Just buy them all. Next celebration, you have you have time. You have a year, year and a half. All right. Hopefully. Hopefully. Not two, but maybe a year and a half. All right. And just show up to celebration, and and you will see stuff that you didn't even know existed. Oh, I can't. Wait. I have done my very best trades at celebration. Yeah. Yeah. That's where I found the Pathfinder version one, oh. which is the hardest coin to get in the Legion. Really? Yep. Yep. It's only 50 made. The very first challenge coin made uh, in the 501st. Wow. It was the Pathfinders that the first one. What? And like I said, only 50 made. And most of the people that bought them were not collectors. They're not collectors. They're not around. And I just got lucky, got into somebody's stash, some guy who I have never seen before. Right. And he's like, yeah, I had these forever. And, you know, <laughs> I just brought them to see if anybody wanted any of them. And, and I saw that sitting there, and then everybody was going through the stuff. Nobody even picked up on it. Oh. <laughs> I saw it, and I, I recognized it right away because it's a very dirty brass looking. Yeah, yeah. Remember back then, this is, this is going back now about 15 years. Right. You know, and very dirty brass, very thick coin. I looked at it. I picked it up, and I turned it around. The way you can know is it had a different website that way they have today. Ah, okay. And I looked at it and I said, "Oh, I like this one." You know, I didn't act <laughs> like I won the lottery or anything. Right? Yeah, you got it. You know, so play I'm like, "I off. like this one." The guy goes, he goes, "What do you got?" I showed him my award-winning binder of stuff. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and he just, I, I, at that point, I said, "You pick what, whatever you want from that book." Right. And I just, I just didn't, you know, I just told him, I said, "Whatever you want." And yeah. he, he's, he picked up like a Legion regular coin or something. Sure. Nothing special. <laughs> yeah, he didn't take my heavy hitters. And then you, then you dance out. <laughs> oh, I, I was speechless. You know, I had to go show some of the other guys, the collector guys, and I'm like, can you verify this? Can you, can you verify this one <laughs> Is for this me? Real? <laughs> and they're looking at it. They're like, and I was holding it in my hand. I said, I'm not going to give it to you. Right, yeah. I want you look to just it. look at it. You know, you're not going to grab it. He says, where'd you get that? I just treated with some guy. Wow. You know, and, and just people. That, that's why I said you just people just show up. They see swag trade. They see it advertised. Oh yeah, swag trade, and everybody just decides to go in their drawers, get whatever they have, show up, and just mingle and trade. Yeah, absolutely. You know, but, so so I've been able to get a couple things just because of by accident. Sure, and them not knowing what they have. <laughs> I had um I have this replica of Quagon's lightsaber. It's a larble. And Larbel was a guy who made only two different lightsabers. He made Qui-Gon's and Obi-Wan's from Episode One. Yeah. They're the most accurate versions of those lightsabers you can buy. Yeah. But you can't buy them anymore because after six months of production, uh -huh. uh, he got a cease and desist from Lucasfilm. Oh, wow. So they're really, really hard to find. Yeah, yeah. And people who have them know they're worth, I mean, you can sell them for like six, seven hundred dollars Oh, wow. And that's just static. No electronics, nothing, mm -hmm, just the thing. Mm -hmm. I found one in the RPF for 200 ah. I was like... That's mine. That's your <laughs> <laughs> it's sitting on a shelf now, guarded by my Disney Infinity figures. <laughs> PayPal. PayPal yep. immediately. <laughs> imme payment sent. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's fun. It is yeah. fun, though. I, uh, I love it. I love the Legion. Yeah. I'm, so, I'm so jealous I can't go to uh, Celebration this year. So jealous. Oh. So jealous. You know what? And, and I'll tell you another quick story about Celebration in yes, Europe. Yes, please. Um, we had... Um, we had that first, I was telling you about my birthday, it was that Thursday. Yeah. Well, the swag trade, all that good stuff was happening that night. 
Nice. And we did a we did a uh, a puzzle patch. You saw the puzzle yeah, patch yeah, yeah, this yeah. year. It was the, a it was, ATAT, right? That was the one for this year, but the one for Europe was just uh, the destroyer. Oh, okay. So we had a gathering uh, just with the the people that were a part of that patch. So it was a it was a separate dinner for us. Oh, okay. And that's where we swapped our, our stuff. We put um, we had a couple of uh, back uh, uh, backboards. Okay. That we all signed around it, uh. and and that's where eventually we're gonna we're gonna frame we were gonna frame our uncut piece because we were the only ones that got the uncut piece. Right. Everybody else got the little pieces that they had to put as a puzzle. That's pretty cool. So we have we each twenty of us have. There's only 20 in existence. I think there was 22 in existence because they got one for raffle, sure. for charity, and then there was one for Sand Suite. I was about to say one for Angel. I think Angel one went to Lucasfilm or something like that. So there was like 23, 24. Sure. Um, we all signed it. And, well, that night, um, after that party, we went to another party, which was the regular swag trade and at this pub in Germany. Oh, sweet. And... We're walking around. I brought my card, my trading cards. The people in Europe are gun ho about trading cards. Really? I had never seen so many people come up to me for trading cards. Huh. I had a line of people. I had a line. That's awesome. It looked like an autograph session. Right, yeah. <laughs> you know, people were there in line, and, 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 and I'm and I'm like, what, what? I'm like, this is awesome. Right. You know, because that's what people like. People like, for whatever reason, I don't know, here in the States, it's not like that. Right, yeah. It's just, here you, in the States, that's what you like, put in the letter when you send your you patch You just away. throw there as extras, <laughs> and if they keep it, whatever. Here, there's very few collectors of trading cards. Very I, true. I could count them on one hand, how many people that really right. care about collecting them. And you just, it's one of those things where you make for kids or whatever, but... As far as in Europe, people are serious about it. Uh-huh. You know, they're like, oh, yeah, I want your cards, too. And they were there. We signed them. And then they gave us their cards. And then we were just, I mean, I had a line of people, you know, and I, yeah. to the point where I almost ran out. That's awesome. I just about ran out of cards. I had no cards. I had, like, maybe a small stack for, like, the rest of the weekend. Right. You know, so I'm like, you know what? At least, like, people that, that really want them got them. Yeah, know, exactly. Instead times, of them, give them, throw them away. I'm not know. one to put cards on a table. At a con, right? Because it ends up in the wrong hands. Always, you know, it goes to eBay or whatever, and I just I hate to see that. Yeah, um, it's for the kids, and to me, it's for the kids, and it's for people that that appreciate them. Agreed. You know, agreed. So you know, you go to a hospital, you give them to the kids. The hospital troop, you give them to the kids, or you go to uh, an event that people want to trade. We do that, you right? Know? But I don't, I don't. Uh, I don't like to leave them on the table. I just have for anybody just to free grab them because it ends up in the wrong hands. Right, right. The wrong place. Well, you've seen the movie. Yes. How many times? Three times. Three Not times. Not as much as you. What do you think of it? I, I, I liked it. I think I it's liked great. It. I liked you it know, a lot. Despite all the comments and all the theories and all the feedback right. that everybody's given that it's too similar to episode four and yeah and you know why this and why that i'm like you know what you're gonna like it no matter what right <laughs> you know to me I, I like all the characters i think it was Same. great i was surprised by a lot of it like i think most yeah. people were i mean <laughs> um, and i just think it's i love the storyline it was just fantastic it was funny i thought i thought ray and finn were great right I have, I BB-8 have, I, is the best. BB-8 what is What did just, I tell you about BB-8? You did. You did. You <laughs> I did, called it. You called it. You called it. And I'm like, you know what? He is awesome. He's the um, best. The best. It I really, knew the really second, the first teaser, I was like, that's the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. And yeah. then he does a thumbs up with a lighter. Oh, the thumbs th- yep, Oh, my yep. God. <laughs> yep. The part where he, uh, where, where, the, where the Falcon's going in circles and he's banging around and he finally shoots had enough cables. and he shoots the cables. All right, I'm, I'm done. I love it. You know, so, so he had an attitude. I love it. You know, he had a great attitude. I mean, it's just, just, a, just, just a great character and, and, and I, I have no, I have no, no, no negative comments towards the movie. I just, Agreed. you know, I just think it was just really cool. You know, it had its funny parts, it had its, its sad parts, it had its, its exciting parts and it's typical Star Wars. Man. Absolutely. That's just the way you're going to get. That's what you're going to get. And I'm for it. More and Star think, Wars is more Star Wars. And I think JJ and, and, and Kathleen uh, Kennedy uh, both uh, did a great job in, in leading that project and, and, and coming up with that great movie. Agreed. I had, yeah. I, I had this joke that I would tell people who complained that it was more like episode four. I was like, did you like episode four? Yeah. Then what's the problem? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I don't see the issue. If, yeah. if somebody gave you back something you like, yep. where, where's, what's going on here? Yep. 
You yep, know? yep, the, exactly. It goes back to that, you know, people have preconceived notions of what they want, and they yep. don't want to hear anything. It's the same thing that happened to the prequels. Yep. You know, yep. people thought they did this, and because it didn't reach their expectations. Absolutely. Do you, Absolutely. I, uh, I'm a big fan of Kyle Newman, you know, directed Fanboys. You yep, see Fanboys? Yep, yeah, Fanboys, yeah. He is a, I went to a panel of his at Celebration 6. Mm -hmm. It was prequel appreciation. <laughs> and his whole thing was like, you can dislike them as movies. You cannot dislike their story. It's the best story ever. It goes, it's the first half. Oh, wow. And, and he just like laid it out and it was beautiful. And I was like, this guy and I need to be best friends. Yes, yes. It's so per <laughs> it was so perfect. He's like, you can say the acting's bad. It doesn't matter. It doesn't the matter. story is the best ever. Yep, yep. You know, yep. you find out Darth Vader is terrifying because he has nothing to lose and he's dead inside because of everything he lost. Right, it, like, right. It's the first half. You know? That's right. And now this is the next part. Yep. The, the, the only thing that I'm like, that uh, uh, kind of is like, oh, man, the only thing is that it isn't Lucas's treatment. But then it's like, that is what it is. You it know is. what I mean? It, it is what it is. It's I like, enjoy it's it. Like, it's like most of us or all of us. We're not going to be around forever. Right? Exactly. You know, so, so well, I mean, I, I will be. But. I, you will be. You will, you, will be, you will be a legend. I will become one with the force. You <laughs> will become one with the force. That's right. That's right. But, uh, but, you know, people were talking about, you know, oh, they didn't use Phasma the way they should have. And you know what? Phasma didn't die. Exactly. Phasma, she's going to be an eight. Phasma's going to be an eight, Confirm. I'm sure. And she's and the new she, Boba and, Fett. And she's going to be <laughs> doing something that's going to blow you away the next time. I'm sure. I mean, she's They're the one that lowered the shields. They're not going to give it all away in right? this one movie. That, I say the same thing. It's one of three. It, we have no answers because it's a one of three. You, know, you, you knew that coming in. Right. You if they're going to give you all the answers, who's who, who's what, right? who's raised parents, what are they going to do in eight? Exactly. exactly. That's like when you think back to... Uh, you don't even know Tatooine is called Tatooine until episode five because they never mentioned it in four. Yeah. You know, it's like, oh, what planet are you on? Well, if there's the brightest center, of the, if there's a bright <laughs> center of the galaxy, this is the planet it's farthest from. Yeah, exactly. It never says Tatooine. Yeah. At the end of five, we get the planet's name. You, you know, know what? That's a good trivia question. Yeah. I, di I didn't really know that. Yeah. I didn't know that. It's not wow. named until five. And, and that's why, does, why does everybody want to go back to Jack Who? Right, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm wondering. I want to go to Jack Who. I'm right with there, Finn. <laughs> I, I want to go to Abu Dhabi. Right? Jack Who, oh India. Oh, my God. <laughs> I ha I'm going to wait till the podcast is over to tell you what my plan is, but I'm going to be in Star Wars. You, uh, I, I, I believe it. I told you, but I have I a plan. I believe it. I have a plan. You're going to give me a free autograph, right? Of course I am. You are? Okay. All right. Before you, be, be, before you, be, before you get your table reserved downstairs, right, yeah. you're going <laughs> to give me a free autograph, right? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set up my own table, carry yes. my own headshots and like clear table. Hi, yeah, look. I was in right. Star Wars. I got cut, but I was in it, I swear. That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Well, I, I'm definitely going to have you back on because we're at over an hour and we didn't even talk photography. We did not talk <laughs> photography. So so this is phase one, this part is, one. This is part one. Part one of the MIG photography uh, uh, podcast TI extraordinary. 9100 501st yes, exactly. podcast <laughs> version. On Jakku, yep. On ja going back to Jakku. No. That's right. That should be a podcast, going back to Jakku. Going back to Jakku. And it's all just a recap. There you go. That'd there you go. No, that's Nobody awesome. Nobody take that. If someone's listening and they want to take it, <laughs> <laughs> please don't. Or if you do, do a good job. All right. Definitely. All right. Thank you for coming on. And goodbye.